Hi, my name is Alicia Armenta. This is for Bio 240. This is for lab slash video exercise number six of the digestive system. And it is 12-10-2017. And today I'll be discussing the pathway of digestion. And um, so the goal of digestion is ingestion, digestion, um, breakdown, and excretion. Um, so we're going to start with the mouth. We're going to pretend we're eating a cheeseburger and um, we're going to take a bite and we're going to use our mouth to chew and our teeth and our saliva to break down the food into swallowable pieces, swallow, swallowable <laughs> pieces. And then um, we're going to use our epiglottis, which is that bulb in the back, to um, direct the food, the chewed up food, down our esophagus and via um, peristalsis, which is contraction of the smooth muscle. Um, it helps move the food, which is now considered a bolus, down the esophagus. So it goes like this. Moves the food down to the um, lower esophageal sphincter. This is an opening between the esophagus and the stomach, and so the sphincter opens up, lets the bolus through to the stomach, and once the bolus enters the stomach, the pH um, of the stomach goes to two, um, so that the acid can break down bacteria um, that may be present and the food into smaller particles. Um, peristalsis also churns the stomach too. <coughs> and then um, once the stomach is churned enough, then um, the bolus is turned into chyme, and the chyme goes through the pyloric sphincter, which is the sphincter between the lower part of the stomach, so it'd be like, so the stomach is shaped like, like that, and then the pyloric sphincter connects the stomach to the small intestine, so, um, the chyme goes to the duodenum of the small intestine. This is the beginning of the small intestine. Um, simultaneously, the common bile duct system, which is the gallbladder, the pancreas, and the liver, all work together in their specific functions to break down any fats um, that are in that the intestines cannot absorb. So um, they produce bile and other substances that break down these fats. Um, and so then the chyme goes through the duodenum, down through the um, duodenum and the ileum, and then um, this, these sections of the small intestine is where um, nutrients are absorbed and released into the bloodstream. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not feeling too well tonight. Um, released into the bloodstream and then um, the chyme goes to the cecum, which is the beginning of the large intestine. Um, at this portion, water is absorbed, or any water particles that are left over in the chyme. Um, it's absorbed and um, released um, for excretion. Um, and then it goes, the chyme goes through the ascending colon, the transverse colon, and the descending colon. So it's traveling through and um, then it enters the last portion of the large intestine, which is the sigmoid colon, sigmoid colon, excuse me. And, um, excuse me, from here, it goes, the chyme goes to um, the rectum. And um, the person, depending on their age, um, and their ability to control their bowel movements, the person either um, can release um, the bowel, the feces from the rectum through the anus, or they can choose to hold it, which may cause constipation. But um, irregardless, the, the feces stays in the rectum and then it goes through the anus, which is the last sphincter, um, and it expels the waste or the fecal matter out of the body. And so that is the entire um, digestive process of a bite of a cheeseburger. And I hope you have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for watching.